nothing exists without light. Colors, textures, and geometry are born for our eyes when light meets matter. At that moment, it's when the miracle of illumination happens. Lighting is everything when it comes to interior design. It plays a big role in how you perceive and experience a space because it radically affects the appearance of geometry and our mood and emotions as well. A good lighting plan depends on the characteristics of the light source and how we distribute it in the space. So in this video, I want to share with you the basic principles about lighting design. I will provide you some tips, idea, and concepts on how to light up any space like a pro. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Saira Kuri, architect and lighting designer. If you are new here and you love design, don't forget to subscribe to join our community and to turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss out our next videos. As always guys, if you have any questions after watching this video, don't forget to let me know in a comment below. Let's get started. The basic principles of lighting design begin with understanding the characteristics of the lighting source. Each bulb or lighting factor has conditions that may or may not be good for our spaces. Let me explain three characteristics of the light sources that you need to dominate before selecting bulbs or a lighting factor for your space. Color temperature is used as method of describing the warmth or coolness of a light source. The spectrum of color temperature is measured in Kelvin degrees. These values are used to describe the color emitted from lighting sources. Let's see a graphic that explains very well the color temperature scale. As humans, we perceive the color temperature in different ways, so each one will be adequate for different applications and activities. The warm light creates a cozy, calm, inviting atmosphere, perfect to be used in bedrooms, living rooms, family rooms, dining rooms, or any space that require an intimate and personal mood. neutral and soft white is a friendly and clean light best for kitchen and bathrooms or any kind of workspace. The cool light is adequate for offices, hospitals, or other commercial uses. The bin angle of a lamp is the angle at which the light is distributed or emitted. If you want to highlight a treasure object, then a spot angle could be the right choice. On the other hand, white angle gives a more general and softer light. It's the perfect choice to light up a wide area. In simple terms, lumens are a measure of the total amount of visible light to the human eye from a lamp or light source. The higher the lumen rating, the brighter the lamp will appear. So first to select a bulb, take into account the dimension and the activities that you will develop in the space. It's true that other concepts exist about lighting design. Because of that, I'd like to inform you that I left a link in the description box below with a guide and more detailed information on how to light up your space as a professional. Now that you've learned the basics to select the perfect lighting source, Let's see how we can use the different kind of lighting sources to design the lighting plan of a space like a pro. First of all, we need to understand that a good lighting design is all about layers. 
we need to blend different lighting sources into this space to create contrast, accentuate elements, color, and texture. Let's see how the layers works. Ambient lighting is the base layer of light in any room. The main purpose of ambient lighting is overall illumination of a room that lets you see and move clearly throughout the entire room. Ambient lighting meant to create a general and uniform lighting level. It's the first layer of lighting and sets the tone of a space. Typically, the ambient lighting is soft and diffused. You can incorporate ambient lighting into your space through ceiling mountains or recess vectors that direct light downwards, LED strips, wall and floor lamps that wash the walls and ceiling with light, or with pendants that bounce light of ceilings and walls. Accent lighting intend to highlight a specific object or area to draw attention to a picture such as artwork, furnishings or architectural details, converting them into focal points. The accent lights are responsible for adding style, contrast and drama to a space. So if you feel that your room may be missing that special something, it may be the accent lighting. This lighting layer is used to highlight design elements of your space in order to create more defined shadows that will add depth to each object and to the overall appearance of the space. In technical terms, accent lights are typically three times as bright as ambient lights. Resist spot ceiling lights, track lights, or wall mounted lights are very effective in living or common areas since they can be angled and directed to create a highlight. As the name suggests, task lighting is light for a particular task or activity such as reading, writing, eating, or preparing food. It focuses on the particular area where the task is performed, and it's brighter than ambient lighting. Task lighting will be the most functional layer of your lighting plan. Examples of task lighting include resist and track lighting, pendants, under cabinet lighting, floor, desk, and table lamps, or bathroom vanity lights. A good lighting plan provides functional lighting, but it's also an excellent element to be used to reinforce the room's desired design style. At the time of selecting your lighting factor, don't forget to select the perfect one that complements the interior design style that you are looking for. Remember that a good interior design blends function and aesthetic. Lighting design is my passion. When I was an architecture student, I fell in love with how lighting had the power to transform any space. 
and to make us feel in different ways depending on the lighting condition. Because of that, I decided to do my master degree in lighting design. So if you have any questions, let me know in a comment below. I would love to respond to your doubts. Thanks for watching. I hope this information was helpful for you. If you liked this video, please don't forget to click like and subscribe to join our design community. Also, follow me on Instagram for daily inspiration and to get in touch. And don't forget to download the lighting design guide that I left in a link in the description box below. Have a beautiful week. See you next time.